accurately pressing, Cisco Skins is a very tricky skill that not many people can master. It's perfectly normal for every trader to make a few pricing mistakes over the course of their trading journey. Bruh. What isn't normal, on the other hand, is when somebody presses one of the items so badly they end up quick selling it on the market at a 99.99% discount. Literally. My name is Azkap and today we'll be looking at the most catastrophic steam market fails in the history of CSGO. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. So to illustrate what a 99.99% discount looks like on a high tier item, the first fail we'll be analyzing is the unfortunate sell of this flip knife fade factory no. new by some poor dude who apparently was in urgent need of a single penny because he decided to sell his knife on the steam market not at a $700 price it would usually sell for, but for only 3 cents, so the cheapest price he could have sold it for. Bruh. And considering that Valve takes a 66% cut on every 3 cents transactions, our friend there was only able to pocket a single cent from his $700 flip knife. And that's without taking in consideration the float or the fate percentage, which can have a huge upwards impact on these kinds of knives. And even though I'd like to believe you really only needed a single penny at that moment, because it's funnier to think about, what probably happened is that he got confused trying to list cheap stuff like graffitis in his inventory and just accidentally listed his knife for the wrong price. A very unfortunate mistake that happens to way too many people who own outrageously expensive items. For example, it's also probably what happened to this StatTrack Carambit Fade Factory New, worth around $1800 on the buff marketplace, so not even at a Steam market price. I say that because since items are usually more expensive on buff than on the Steam market by about 10%, this knife would actually be too expensive to be sold on the market since the maximum amount you're allowed in your balance at all times is $2000. Really? But apparently someone out there just really didn't care about this market mechanic and put it up for sale anyway for the maximum amount it could have sold it for, so around $1000. $1,860. Or at least that's what would have happened if the seller hadn't misplaced the comma after the 6, therefore listing his knife not at the $1,860 price tag he was aiming for, but at $186 instead. Ouch. But listen, personally, I call that a skill issue, something that appears to be rampant among most Fade Knife's owner since the next fail on our list will be about the StatTrack Butterfly Knife Fade Factory New. Listen, I promise you we're done with Fade Knives after this one, but I just had it included since it's particularly painful to look at. The StatTrack Butterfly Knife Fade is one of the most sought after knives on the Steam market. It's been on a massive bull run over the past few years, especially ever since CSGO became accessible to Chinese players, going from around $400 in 2018 and commonly sold on the market, to approximately $2,200 in 2023 and impossible to buy on the market because of the $2,000 limit I've explained before. Knowing all of that, I'd really like to know who the not only attempted to put it up for sale on the community market, since it's worth way more on third party sites like Buff, but also messed up the listing so bad they actually managed to sell it for 3 cents only. Oof! Yeah, this one's really painful because you just know that the seller is 100% aware of the mistake he's done, and the only thing he has to comfort himself with is a single penny he got from the sale. And even though the dollar amount lost is pretty bad in this one, it doesn't even come close to the fails we've yet to go over. So if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and that's about it. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you a question. What do you know about the butterfly knife Gamma Doppler? Oh, my bad. I forgot I'm speaking to myself. Be right back. The Butterfly Knife Gamma Doppler Factory New is a pretty good looking knife worth around $1,600 on the community market. So far, so good, right? If it got sold on the market for $1,600, aka the market price, that must mean the seller got a pretty good deal, right? Wrong. See, the thing with Doppler knives, and this includes the Gamma Doppler, is that they come in different phases, the most common being phase 1, 2, 3, and 4. And while almost anybody would be pretty happy to unbox any Doppler knife, what everyone is actually wishing for is for the rarest finishes possible. Ones that are 10 times rarer than the regular counterparts, who are already pretty f***ing rare to get. Yes, I am talking about the sapphire, ruby and black pearl finishes for the regular Dopplers, and the emerald finish for the gamma Dopplers. You probably can see where I'm going with this. The seller wasn't selling a normal butterfly knife gamma doppler. This motherfucker was selling a butterfly knife emerald for the price of a regular one. A knife that's not only 10 times as rare as the normal one, but that's also 10 times more expensive since it's currently being sold on buff for $13,000. When you see this kind of sh you need to try to look at the bright side of things if you don't want to go insane. So here's the bright side. 
The seller probably wasn't aware that he was selling such an expensive knife, and even though he objectively got f***ed, he probably walked out of that deal pretty happy. Unless of course he's watching that video, in that case I'm sorry buddy. Unfortunately, that ignorance is bliss cope can be applied to our next fail, since the guy that fumbled the bag fully realized what happened and even took his desperation to Twitter. Unlike the other fails, this one happened on the Buff163 marketplace that I can't stop mentioning because it's literally the market standard, which means that the seller was a pretty advanced kind of trader. What happened is that he listed an AK case hearted minimal wear with a 670 pattern for $1400. If you don't know a lot about case hardened patterns, you probably don't know how to react. Hell, you might even think it's too expensive since you can just buy a random AK case hardened for $170 right now. Well, if that's what you're thinking, you couldn't be more wrong. Because here's what an AK with a 670 pattern looks like, and it's worth around $17,000. That's quite a bit. So it didn't take long before somebody realized how badly the seller priced this item. And when I say it didn't take long, I actually mean instantly, by the way. And it was purchased at the asking price before the seller realized what had happened. Staying on the topic of rare case hardened patterns, this next and final fail is the fattest loss we've seen so far. It might even be the biggest one in the history of CSGO. This Nomad Knife 577 Blue Gem, also known as Simple's Blue Gem, because it's the one he used during the Stockholm 2021 Major, and also the one that directly caused the massive increase in price for Nomad Knives in general during that period is the best blue gem for Norman knives. Literally the number one pattern because man, look at that beast. I want you to take a good look at this knife, okay? So look at it like carefully and with passion while I tell you that it was sold on Skinport for $320. No typo, no mistake, no bullshit. This shit was sold for three Benny's and one Jackie, literally. Imagine trading this beauty for a Bayonet Lord Battle Scar, bro, I'd rather die, man, f*** this shit. And if that wasn't already bad enough for the seller, who at that point was probably considering opening up his Minecraft account and jumping 100 blocks without a bucket of water, this fell, bro, it made the rounds throughout the community and zero sympathy was sent his way. His profile comments just got invaded by people mocking and trolling him for that giga fail. Man, you guys are actually sick in the head sometimes, I swear to god, that's f***. Anyway, as the cherry on top, this Nomad Blue Gem is worth approximately $50,000. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. In the meantime, that's Cap is out. Peace!